Greetings and salutations, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. You're watching Raven Review. I'm your host, Raven, and today we're going to be talking about Wreck It Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. Um, let's light spoilers. So, uh, the synopsis of the film pretty much is Ralph and Penelope um, need to go into the internet in order to fix your game or the arcade shop owner is going to get rid of her her game and the reason why they need to fix it is because her steering wheel um, got broken and so there's a steering wheel available on eBay so Ralph and Penelope need to go to eBay in order to get it. So eventually, through some events and stuff like that, they eventually do go through um, the internet and get to eBay, and they actually do get um, the steering wheel. The thing is, because they don't understand how eBay works, they pay a lot of money for... <laughs> the steering wheel and so they don't really own any cash so they start talking to some people that are and eh, so we say not very good and so they want them to steal this character named shank's car um and she and it's located in a game called slaughter race so they figure out how to do it and stuff like that. And that's where you get to meet Shank and all of her gang and stuff like that. Thing is, Vanellope starts falling in love with the actual game. Uh, I mean, and then they find a legit way how to actually get all the money and, and stuff like that. And they meet up with a character named Yes, who runs like a Facebook, YouTube kind of channel uh in order to collect enough cash to pay for it while all this is occurring you have this little character named e-boy who pops up and tells them you know you have so long to pay for it you know you have nine hours ten hours that kind of thing uh so um eventually ralph gets jealous of of shank and vanellope uh developing a friendship uh, and he takes some matters into his hands that he shouldn't be doing he goes even further into the shall we say darker web and does something he's not supposed to do and that's pretty much and then everyone becomes friends again game is saved and there you go okay with the synopsis out of the way um let me get into my rating really quick uh i'm gonna rate it as this and the reason why i'm rating it is this and without getting into too many spoilers of the actual film itself is <laughs> everyone sorry for the interruption uh just wanted to add a real quick little nugget of um of a point of view real quick um this film you're watching is a great example for all little girls um this isn't a boy film this is more of a girl film and it shows you know females being in power and being proud of being a woman and uh, you've got all the princesses and you've got two main characters. Uh, one's in charge of, you know, a, like a GTA style racing game. And the other one's in charge of like a YouTube kind of thing. So I think that's really showing like what women can do. Granted, they are cartoon characters. I understand that. But they are female cartoon characters. And then you have all the different princesses and, and they kind of make fun of the boys. And I think that's great.
And now for the million dollar question. Do people assume all your problems got solved because a big strong man showed up? Yes, what is up with that? She, she is, is a princess. princess. So <laughs> without actually like overstimulating you with feminism because it's just, it's kind of gotten a bad taste and the actual word is um, not living up to its true meaning, I think. It's been distorted and turned quite ugly. And I'm just, I'm not real cool with that, uh, especially since my whole family is nothing but females and they're all strong females. So uh, I've had a here, an earful of the direction feminism is going and how they dislike it. So uh, just wanted to put this quick little nugget in. Um, and I think it's a lot better film than a certain Marvel movie that's coming out with a female character that happens to be Marvel. So, um, yeah, <laughs> like I said, just a quick little rant and uh, we'll get back to the video now. Thanks. Bye. Just how the flow of the movie goes um, from beginning to end is actually really well done. Um, the music is very well placed, uh, even though it's, you know, your typical normal what's popular kind of, kind of music. But, you know, that's Disney. So, you know, they played their cards right and they did exactly what they needed to do in order to make the movie move forward. So, um, and then you were introduced to, you know, several new characters, which were, um, done by some very popular care by some very popular, um, movie stars at this current time. So I, I thought that was very well done. There is a couple things that the trailers are misleading. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, the bunny trailer, um, where the bunny's eating all the pancakes and the kitty eats the milkshakes, that's still there. <laughs> um, I thought that was really interesting that they uh, left that. But they did change um, the trailer where... Um, I don't remember what her name is, but she's in Brave. She's a princess for Brave. And she tells the whole story of her movie uh, and nobody understands her at all. And they change it into some something else. I totally forget what it is, unfortunately. But I thought that was really interesting. Uh, so, and then on top of that, there is no antagonist in this film whatsoever, which most films don't do that. And that's the reason why I'm rating it what it is. Because most films that don't really have an antagonist in the actual film, the movie usually flops. It's not very good. It's not very entertaining because you just don't have this antagonist. And one could say that Ralph's uh, neediness, I guess you could say, is the antagonist. His need to be accepted and to have the um, Penelope's friendship is the villain but yeah that's I guess you could say that so whatever <laughs> I, I'm not really buying it it it's they, they there really is not an actual villain in the actual film so you know there's that uh but there were a lot of like Easter eggs. Oh my God, is there a ton of Easter eggs in this film? I mean, you're going to have to at least watch this film at least three or four times once it comes out on Blu-ray uh, in order to catch all the Easter eggs, especially with um, when they go to Disneyland or Disney Web or something, I think it's called. Uh, there's the stormtroopers and then there's the princesses and the shirts that they're wearing and just there's so many things in the actual movie that are planted um, throughout the film that are Easter eggs. So I thought that was really interesting. They really 
they really did a lot of thinking about this film. So I, I understand why it took so long for it to actually be made because it, it's basically a treasure hunt, uh, the entire film. So yeah, there's that. So have fun hunting on that one. Uh, <laughs> but overall, it really is a good film. I definitely think you guys should check it out. Uh, it's definitely appropriate for little children. There's not really a lot of, there's a couple of adult jokes, but you know, overall, I think little kids would probably really, really enjoy it. I think the adults really enjoy it. The film is definitely made for both. It's made for kids and children, um, which is really, really neat. Um, a lot of films have been trying to do this for where uh, both kids and adults enjoy the film. So yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, and I guess we'll talk to you all later. I hope I didn't spoil anything. Didn't really get into too many spoilers. There is one that I, I, I do want to talk about. Vanellope sings. Um, before I go, <laughs> yeah, Vanellope sings. And I have it in the slide thing. My God, is that funny? It's really, really funny. It's horrible. She has a horrible, horrible voice. Uh, but her singing like a Disney princess is absolutely hilarious. So if anything, that that is definitely well worth seeing. So hope you guys all have a great day. Don't forget to give someone a hug. May change your day, may change your life. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Raven Review. Please remember to push the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when a new video has been posted. Also don't forget to like or dislike the video you just watched. Then you can be a awesome person by sharing this video with all your friends on your social media networks. Have an awesome-tastic day and thanks for watching.